How do I reclaim my social life? Sometimes the most obvious answer is the best answer. You know what you need to do. Maybe stop equating socializing to alcohol. If you can't distinguish between them then you are right to be anxious. Also know that you can still go out with friends and not drink. It's not easy, but you can recommend getting fries and a shake instead. Or if you must go to a bar just stick to soda. A pro tip. Some bars will give you soft drinks on the house. If you mention you're the designated driver. Not always but it happens. Best of luck with your sobriety friend. If your friends can't accept that you don't drink alcohol, they probably ain't the greatest friends. Especially if it's coming from a place of health concerns, mental, physical, or otherwise. You can still be social and have fun without drinking. I'm from Scotland. It's acceptable and expected that you're at least on the path to alcoholism before the age of 14. Yet I've been sober for some years now lol. Don't connect socializing with drinking alcohol. Your friends may pressure you, but that's when you literally look them in the eyes and say fuck you for not being a friend. It works. I'm Irish and the culture here is very similar, but I find it hard to be social cause almost everything involves alcohol and after a while it gets boring being the only sober person in a group. I know the obvious answer is to quit drinking and using substances entirely. But I would actually like to one day come back to enjoying myself on the odd occasion. So why are you asking? Seems you know the answer but don't wanna. Seriously dude. I'm an alcoholic. And would recommend you try that stopping shit. Right answer. If alcohol is doing this to your life. You'll never regain control. You might think to limit yourself. And you hold yourself accountable. But after some time you will back to your old self. Drinking and pushing people away. The illusion of being the fun drunk again is just that. The best way to control it is to not give in. From Alcoholics Anonymous. One drink is too many. And every drink is not enough something like that. I had to quit alcohol because it was making my mental health decline. I needed some time to myself to sort my head out. And now I love socializing. Without drinking, even going to bars. The key advice I have for you is not to ignore your body. Getting anxiety is your body and brain's way of saying something's wrong. We need to change. Listen to that. Try cutting out drinking and see if that helps. If that's not the issue, you need to figure out what is. Get therapy if need be. Regarding others pulling away from you. The best way to stay connected to others is to be honest with them. At the moment you're pretending to be fine around them when you're not. And they can sense that disharmony and incongruence. If you have someone you feel you could share with, try confiding your problems with them. If the current group aren't able to understand, they aren't the friends for you. A patient sees the doctor one day and says it hurts when he sleeps on his side at night. The doctor looks at him and asks have you tried not doing that? If it hurts so much, don't do it. I doubt this doctor would last long. Yeah he died from a coconut being thrown at him during his bird watching afternoons. Don't overindulge in alcohol or drugs. Developing tolerance is a bad sign and should be thought of as a warning sign. Relax. Practice meditation. Feel your entire body at once. Every time your mind wanders, come back to feeling your entire body all at once. If you notice tension in your body or mind, relax it. You may start to feel that your entire body is breathing. Practice this sober. Start with 5 to 10 minutes a day. Slowly increase to 30 to 60 minutes. After you learn to relax faster and deeper, you will become more calm overall. You will also be able to relax yourself in increasingly difficult situations. You can also practice this while on alcohol slash drugs occasionally. But I don't recommend it since you risk getting addicted or having a very bad slash weird slash intense experience. But FYI. Start with microdoses. And very slowly, over weeks or months, increase the dose. Don't increase the dose if you are still getting anxiety on lower doses. Only increase the dose after you have mastered relaxing on the current dose. Watch out for tolerance. Don't die. Get sufficient high quality sleep. Be happy. The anxiety you feel is most likely accompanied by negative thoughts and images in your head. Do what it takes to get rid of them. Sometimes they are warning signs that you need to attend to 
and sometimes there are useless anxieties that you should ignore and replace with positive ones. You get anxious when you think at parties people are judging your alcohol slash drug use. Maybe this is a warning sign to reduce your consumption, or maybe it's a useless thought that serves no purpose other than making you anxious. Let it go. Relax. Be happy. Hello mate. Ex-cocaine addict here. Just like you, I used to love going out and having a good time. Eventually I skipped the going out part so I could score more gear. By the end I would just spend my entire wage on coke as soon as it came in. Here I'm 4 years later haven't done coke at all for 2 years. But all my old friends can still enjoy it without going overboard, so I don't see them anymore. Congrats on 2 years. Not a man here. But I had problems with anxiety, and it was so much worse when I drank. I didn't want to stop completely, but the anxiety wasn't worth it for me so I did. Over time I was able to start having a couple of drinks here and there if I felt relaxed in the situation I was in. Overall it helped me break that association with alcohol being necessary in certain contexts. It also meant that I could still have fun without needing to be drunk which is an incredibly freeing concept. Now sometimes I get really drunk. Sometimes I have a drink here or there and sometimes my anxiety is still such that the effect of the alcohol on my mood is just not worth it. What I'm saying is, do what you have to do for yourself in the present. You might find a different side of yourself. It also doesn't mean it's forever, but handle your business because your future self would absolutely thank you. I can understand where you are coming from. Obviously most people are going to say just quit drinking. It's easy to place blame on alcohol because it often is the root cause of a lot of people's problems. I don't think it's always the real issue though. There are lots of other factors that could be coming into play. People enjoy overindulging occasionally and like the feeling of being drunk. It doesn't mean you are an alcoholic. With that said, can you relate this to anything specific happening? Did you do something you regretted while drunk? Maybe you realize, while drunk you act a certain way, that isn't congruent with beliefs. How about how you feel while not drinking? I've been through a phase where I hid my depression from people. However, when I would drink, I became worried I might reveal how I actually felt and what I was going through. This led me to become anxious when I drank. I stopped enjoying the activities I did while I was drinking. I don't think my drinking was a problem here. Of course people will say drinking only compounds problem. I stopped drinking for over a year. I isolated. I didn't improve. Because alcohol wasn't the problem. My depression was. Alcohol could be an issue. But that doesn't mean it is. You have to evaluate that for yourself. If the party pick me up is cocaine then going mute and twitchy is par for the course after prolonged abuse. I have that every day. Have PTSD. Have anxiety seizures. So no one really wants to be around me. So you let yourself go. Don't give up on you. You're worth it. I believe there's an omission in what you said. You say you become anxious whilst inebriated. But what you've not said is that your drinking pattern itself is what you've come to fear. You've come to associate drinking with thoughts and behaviors you do not like. The idea that alcohol is not working for you is coming slowly into consciousness. You're starting to notice that alcohol is doing no good. The problem is you also believe drinking is good. You believe socializing spans from drinking. And that drinking helps this endeavor. So even as your eyes and senses tell you alcohol is harm, the belief that alcohol is help is starting to push back. The conflict between what you see and experience and what you believe is making you feel dysphoric. If you are behaving odd, it is not due to your sobriety. It is due to your dysphoria about your sobriety. This is readily resolved. You need to identify the ways in which alcohol harms you. And work through the false belief that alcohol helps in any way. Become certain why you do not drink. And resolve the conflict between your senses. You want to achieve a state where you see that alcohol hurts you. And believe that alcohol hurts you. Right now, you see alcohol hurts you. But believe that it helps you. That is your answer. Stop drinking. Seems like a fairly easy solution to get what you want as it doesn't seem you're addicted to alcohol. Just go have fun and drink a Sprite. After covered, of course. 
it's perfectly possible to have a great night without drinking any or much alcohol. A lot of people drink a social lubricant to feel more confident, but if it's doing the opposite for you then go on soft drinks for a while. Stop becoming less likable, while you still can, you're going to get too comfortable being alone. You'll forget you need anyone. Also stop watching videos that decrease your faith in humanity. Although 2020 didn't help that too much. Do you have anxiety any other time or just drinking? Also, check out Naltrexone for alcohol use disorder. It worked wonders for me. It sounds like your mental health is on the decline and this is how you're first noticing it. I'd recommend speaking to a professional about your anxiety and then also your friends so they understand better and try to help you through it. Alcohol never mixes well with mental health problems, so you might have to stay clear for a bit until you start to feel better. Fitness is always good. I have a really obsessive personality. Drinking and and substance abuse nearly every day since 16. I stopped the substance abuse, 26, then started drinking more heavily than I was. Burned through a few friends that were not enablers. I just at the time, couldn't find the strength to not indulge, being around the scene. I found a mentor slash friend who is a family man like myself, and committed to one day a week, to meet up box and work out. We now do it every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Got a few dumbbells at home for the off days in case this wind up a bit. It's really good to take the stress out. While also having a therapy session with a friend you can be completely honest with. Look in the mirror and ask yourself who you are and what you want to be slash achieve. Hope this helps man. There is no shame in seeing a therapist for your anxiety and new, unwanted behavior. There is also no shame in quitting drinking. Sounds like your body is over your old coping mechanisms. Time for new ones. Addiction 101. Entertaining the fantasy that you can responsibly do drugs in the future without you returning to an addict or bringing negative consequences on yourself is unfortunately a little naive. I mean that respectfully. I can relate to being a psychonaut that enjoys experiencing substances and drugs. No matter how much respect or strength you feel towards a substance you have abused. Once you have abused it and have reached addiction once, you carry that for the rest of your life. It might be an external factor. I used to be super social. Friends with everyone but then I got hit with depression. But I didn't realize I had depression. But once I knew I could start working on myself. A change of environment. And it took time. But eventually I was my easy to talk to person again. Nice try. Narc. If you can't convince yourself to drop the drink. Instead of alcohol content and loading up. Maybe finding some more complex brews with lighter alcohol, like some really strong mean butter beer or something. And just sip away something you can take your time with, but still gives you a light feeling, and can last a long time. Take it slow, and babysit your drink. That way you get the feeling of being apart. Getting tipsy and can function well. Just a suggestion. Maybe don't give yourself the opportunity to drink when socializing, offer to be volunteer driver a few times or possibly invite close friends round for a drink and ask them if you're doing something when you're drunk that puts people off. If they're a good enough friend to be honest with you and open I'm sure they'll understand and help you get past whatever mental block you're struggling to overcome. All the best for the new year I hope it's a less anxious one. Normally how people get depressed is that they started thinking a certain way in certain situations and after a couple times of reacting the same way to these certain situations they start forming it as their behavior. Maybe what you can do is remove yourself from that environment and try drinking under different circumstances to rewire the thinking pathway. Place yourself in uncomfortable situations. Good luck. You using blow my dude. You bro. Blow and MDMA. Used to love it. Can't catch a break nowadays. Lmao yeah I figured. Well I don't have an answer cause I'm going through the same shit as you. Albeit not nearly as bad. When you go out you have to tell yourself the anxiety is coming from the coke. You can stop using blow which will instantly start helping out. But if you're like me. If I'm drinking. I'm railing lines. Consciously talk to yourself that you're feeling anxious purely from the drug. 
Also dial it back. Don't be hitting the bathroom whenever you want. Try to take as long as you can till you really need to hit the bump bag again. But like I said, I'm a giant dumbass. So take everything I said with a mountain of salt. Make sure you contact people about non-drinking activities. Such as going out for lunch, if you work close by each other. Plan gym passes and jogs, if that's your shtick. Make sure to lead a social life on weekdays too. Seriously. This is so important, if you feel your social life is relegated entirely to the weekends. What are you gonna do, when you get home anyway? Watch a movie. Jack off and go to bed? Much better to spend the evening with your bud at a coffee shop or scouting stores. Also try to make more friends. You don't want to stake your entire social life to one group of people. Try to have a wide and diverse group of friends with different interests. Which you might feel, is a bit forehead. But trying to reach out to different people and hang with different groups increases your prospects massively. Despite this is decades in the making for myself. There's a pinpoint for your anxiousness. I believe hunger, but more importantly water, and being hydrated, had helped my anxiety one day, a week ago, when I woke up I was anxiety as fuck for couple hours till I chugged water. Medication is another thing I recently quit, and I'm not as anxious. Try working out, which is my personal next step I hope. Have you been drinking enough water lately on the days you anxiousness has been at its worst? I would like to know. Edit. Also I think taking vitamins more frequently, but not every day, for me at least, has been helping me. The vitamins I take have like 50% or more daily on. Your initial thought is valid. Substance abuse is a no-win situation. It obviously affects you negatively. As you see people distancing themselves from you. They see you as a problem when you are using. The answer is staring you in the face. It's a new year. Become the new you.